frustrated because you type 192.168.1.1 into your browser, but all you get is an error message? You're not alone. This is a very common problem. In this video, we'll walk through the top reasons this happens. Let's get started. Step 1. Are you on the right network? Let's check it. This is the most common mistake. To access your router settings, your computer or phone must be connected to that router's network. You cannot do this from a different internet connection. Quickly check your Wi-Fi icon. Are you connected to your home Wi-Fi? Or are you accidentally connected to a neighbor's network, a mobile hotspot, or even a VPN? If it's not your network, connect to it now and try again. Step 2. Are you using the correct IP address? What if your router doesn't use 192.168.1.1? It might use a different address. Let's find out for sure. On a Windows PC, open the command prompt using Windows key plus or button and type CMD and press enter key. Now on command prompt type IP config and press enter key. Look for the default gateway address. That default gateway number is your router's actual IP address. It might be 192.168.0.1.10.0.0.1 or something similar. Type that address into your browser to access router settings. Step 3. Check the cable and physical connection. If you're using a wired connection, make sure the Ethernet cable is securely plugged into one of the LAN ports on the router, usually yellow, not the WN Internet port, usually blue or gray. Step 4. Try a different device or browser. If you're still stuck, let's rule out a problem with your device. Try accessing the router's IP address from a different device, like your phone or another laptop. Also, try using a different web browser, Chrome, Firefox, Edge. Sometimes a browser extension or cache can cause issues. Try using HTTP without HTTPS. Step 5. Check PC or laptop IP manual configured. Go to network settings and check ethernet adapter or wireless adapter network settings. If any manual IP address configured, change it to obtain IP address automatically and try accessing router settings again. Step six, disable firewall and VPN. Sometimes security software on your computer can block access to local network devices like your router. As a troubleshooting step only, try temporarily disabling your firewall and most importantly, any VPN software. Step seven, check ethernet cable. Check your ethernet cable in working condition. Use cable tester to confirm if there is not damage in lawn cable. That's it. If this video helped you finally get access your router settings, do not forget to like, share and subscribe channel to get more troubleshooting guide. Thanks for watching.